This video is going to be a little different than normal, because instead of going through the entire process of how I converted this Iron Warrior Warsmith, I'm really just going to be focusing on how I made his servo arm, to hopefully provide some inspiration to you on how to mount a servo arm to cataphract the armor for any Warsmith, Iron Father, Tech Marine, or other conversion you're planning on doing. To make the servo arm though, all you're going to need is the servo arm from the Chaos Space Marine Havoc Missile Launcher, and this flamethrower bit from the Canicum Cataphron Destroyer Kit. One of the biggest challenges I've always had when trying to come up with a way to mount a servo arm to cataphract the armor has been there's really no easy bit to use as a mount. The only model in existence that has both Terminator armor of any sort and a servo arm is the Iron Hands Iron Father kit, and I really don't want to use that as a basis for my conversion as that seemed too easy. For some mysterious reason, I did happen to have a spare servo arm from the Ferris Manus kit though, and when looking at it, inspiration struck. Specifically, this part right here gave me the idea to mount the arm on the side of the Terminator armor between the shoulder pad and the body. After digging around in my bits box a bit, I came across this flamethrower part from the Cataphron Destroyer kit that I picked up for some long abandoned project, and as luck would have it, this first connection point here fits the ball joint from the Havoc servo arm perfectly. And then this piece of plastic here should work as a mounting bracket similar to the Ferris Manus bit. So all I really had to do was cut off the flamethrower part right about here, clip off this small cable right here, and use a sharp hobby knife to trim down the leftover plastic on the arm to fit on the side of the Terminator torso as a side mounted bracket. I originally wanted to keep these small details on the side of this arm, but got carried away and accidentally sliced them off. Luckily though, this will be covered up by the shoulder pad anyways, so it didn't really matter. When doing this precision cutting, I found that using a fresh knife and making small cuts was the easiest way to shape the plastic how I wanted it to be. And once it was thin enough, I super glued it onto the back corner of the Terminator armor here, I also made sure that both the top and bottom of this L bracket I carved out fit snugly against the Terminator armor and were glued on to ensure a strong bond. Because the servo arm I'm using fits so well into the bracket I created, all I really had to do here was snip off these cables as they were dangling the wrong way for my conversion and glue the servo arm into the ball socket to finish off this part of the conversion. I tore the arms off of a Forge World Cataphracty Praetor I had laying around that I think I originally painted for a death card project that never took off. I also tried to add a grenade harness on top of my model as it seems like a pretty worthwhile upgrade for Terminator armed Praetors to take, but it just didn't look right on top with the server arm there as I felt like it would get in the way of the server arm working. So to fix this, I just cut down the grenade harness and glued one of the tubes onto the sides of the Volkite Charger as a kind of side slung grenade launcher which should be good enough. So that's pretty much all I got for y'all this week. I was thinking about doing a full conversion video on this model, but I actually started this conversion probably, I don't know, a year ago, before I insistently record everything I did. So I don't have footage of the harder parts of cutting up the ultramarine standard bear for the legs and putting together the cape and the torso from the Justerian kit. Anyways though, I hope you still found this interesting and provide some inspiration for your own server arm based conversions in your future. As always, thanks for watching and hop be on.